Okay. Now, just now we were talking about when we want to drive out demons from people completely. Tulikuwa tunazungumzia kuhusu jinsi ya kusaidia kufukuza mapepo na ziwaondoke watu kabisa. We want to help the person to have a good relationship with God. Tunataka tusaidie mtu akuwe na uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu. And then secondly, take care of problems in life. Na pia kushughulikia matatizo kwenye maisha yake, including sins, unapohusisha dhambi, and negative thinking, na mawazo kinyume. And now I want to talk about negative feelings. Nataka sasa kuzungumzia kuhusu hisia kinyume. Now when we have problems with people, isia hasi na tunapozungumza kuhusu matatizo ya watu to handle negative thinking is easier to handle negative feelings basi kushughulikia hisia hasi ni rahisi sana let me explain this wacha nieleze haya now if someone is not nice to us kama mtu sio mzuri kwetu we can say now don't say it to the person but say in the heart usimwambie mtu lakini jizungumzie kwenye roho yako the negative words he says is like garbage maneno kinyume anayoyanena ni kama taka so i don't want to eat the garbage nastaki ni kule taka but remember don't say it to the person lakini kumbuka usimwambie mtu hivyo you say to the person manake ukimwambia you are trying to have a start a fight wewe mtaanza kuugomvi na hata mpigane So if someone says negative things to us, kama mtu basi ataongea maneno asi na kwetu sisi, we can say well this is negative. Tutasema kwamba ingawaje haya ni maneno asi. This is garbage. Na huu ni uchafu. I don't want to eat it. Na sitaki nile uchafu. So we tell ourselves. Kwa hivyo tunajiambia, I don't want to eat it. Sitaki kukula. But then we will feel unhappy. Lakini sasa pia tutakuwa hatuna furaha. To take care of the feeling is harder than to take care of the thinking. Aha, kushughulikia hisia ni ngumu sana jinsi vile waweza kushughulikia mawazo. Now, if one of your family members says something negative to you, kama mtu mmoja katika familia atakwambia maneno mabaya, ataongea maneno mabaya kukuhusu. And then we tell ourselves, I don't have to listen to that. Alafu unajiambia kwamba sitaki kusikia mambo hayo. I can forget it. Naweza kuyasahau. But inside our heart, lakini ndani ya mioyo zetu, we will still have negative feelings. Bado tutakuwa na hisia hasi. We will feel unhappy. Tutahisi kwamba hatuna furaha. We will feel hurt. Tutasikia tumejeruhiwa. Now the best is, la jambo mzuri ni, yesterday I demonstrate, jana nilitoa mfano, if someone try to hit you, kama mtu anajaribu kukupiga ngumi, you don't let it, you don't let it hit, hit. You don't let it come to you. Mtu akitaka kupiga ngume anapoleta unafanya inafanya namna gani? You just turn it away. Unapanchi naenda kando. But let me tell you. Lakini wasa ni kwambie if you can do it very well, kama unaweza kuifanya vizuri, then it's easy to take care of the feelings. Ni rahisi sana kushughulikia hisia zako. But if we say, lakini tukisema, how come my husband or wife says that to me? Mbona mke wangu ama mume wangu amenizungumzia mambo hayo? How come my church members say that to me? Mbona hata mshirika wa kanisa langu amesema mambo hayo? And then we feel unhappy. Na tunahisi kwamba hatuna furaha. The unhappy feeling would take some time to take care of. Haha kule kukasirishwa kutakuwa kugumu kumaliza kutahitaji muda. And then the Bible says this in um, Proverbs 17:22. Biblia inasema katika Mithali 17 mstari wa 22, Mithali 17 mstari wa 22, A joyful heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Aha. Inasema kwamba moyo ambao unakuwa unapokea una dawa lakini mifupa iliyovunjika lakini roho iliyovunjika inakausha mifupa so when we continue to have sad feelings tunapoendelea kuwa na hisia ama, ama tunapoendelea kuwa na na asira it will dry up people itakausha watu amen Have you known some people who are unhappy a lot of time? Je, wewe ushawaiona watu ambao hawajawahi kasirishwa katika maisha, hawajawahi furahishwa katika maisha yao? And you look at the face and the body. Unapoangalia uso wa huyo mtu aliyekasirishwa, looks very dry. Unaonekana ni uso ulio kauka umekunjamana. And the body is bent. Na hata mwili wake tayari umeshajikunja. And they have a lot of aches over the body. Na mwili wao unawauma kila sehemu. 
And you can see sadness on the face. Unaweza ona pia chukizo kwenye nyuso zao. Have you met people like that? Wewe ushawahi kutana na watu sambuli hiyo? The sadness has affected the whole person. Yaani ile chuki ama ile hasira imeadhiri mwili wote. So what the Bible says is, kile ambacho Biblia inasema ni hurtful feelings will hurt our whole body. Ya kwamba unapokuwa na machukizo kwenye moyo wako utaadhiri mwili wako wote. When we are aware of that, ukisa gundua mambo haya, then we can learn to take care of it. Tunaweza jifunza jinsi ya kuyashughulikia. Now I have this experience one time. Niko na um, uzoevu huu wakati mmoja. Someone really did something, uh, did something bad to hurt me. Kuna mtu aliyetenda jambo mbaya kuniumiza. Now he's a Christian and actually an elder in a church. Na yeye ni Mkristo na pia ni kiongozi katika kanisa. And then I say, okay, now that is his problem. Na mimi nikasema ah hilo ni tatizo tu lake. I don't have to think about it. Mimi hata sitaki kufikiria kuhusu. I don't have to be affected by it. Na sitaki kuadhirika kuhusu hilo. And I put it down. Na nikaiweka chini. And I praise God and I feel peaceful. Na nilipoanza kumsifu Mungu nikasikia niko na amani. But I noticed I woke up in the middle of the night. Lakini niligundua nilipoamka usiku. When I woke up in the middle of night. Nilipo amka usiku my heart still feel hurt. Moyo wangu bado unahisi kwamba umeumizwa. Let me ask you have do you had experience like this? Wasa ni kuulize wewe ushawahi pitia kipindi kama hicho? Yes. You yes. say in your mind it's okay. Unasema kwenye mawazo yako ah hiyo ni ya kawaida. But the feeling still feel hurt. Lakini hisia bado zime, zimeumizwa. And then you find it harder to get rid of that hurt feelings. Unapata ni ngumu sasa kutoa hiyo hizo hisia mbaya. And it will continue to hurt us, right? Na itaendelea kukuumiza, si ndio? So so is it important to take care of that? Je, si si ni jambo nzuri basi kushughulikia jambo kama hilo? Now let me tell you, I have had many experiences like that. Sasa niwaambie nishakuwa na matatizo mengi kama hayo. I had times when I woke up in the middle of night, I felt like a knife It's in my heart. Kuna wakati napoamka usiku nasikia nikana kwamba kisu kimedungwa kwenye moyo wangu. I actually feel physical pain. Ninasikia kwamba hali yangu ya kimwili pia imeadhirika. That is how much negative feelings can affect us. Even ndivyo maohisia au acids zinaweza kuzika tuadhiri. Now it can come from anything. Inaweza toka kwa kitu chochote. It can come from the hard work in the church. Inaweza toka kutokana na ile kazi ngumu unaifanya kanisani. You work hard to try to bring more people. Unajaribu kuweka bidii kuwaleta watu kanisani. And send someone I'll go away. Jumapili fulani mtu ameenda, Jumapili ijayo mwingine ameenda. And the person brings a number of people with him or her. Na ana huyo mtu anapoondoka kwenye hiyo kanisa, anangooka na watu wamemfuata pia. Will you feel hurt in your heart in the middle of the night? Jay, napofika usiku utasikia umeumizwa kwenye moyo wako? Yes. Now it can happen in anything. Inaweza fanyika kwa jambo lolote tu. You try to grow crops, unajaribu kupanda mimea, and then something happens to destroy it. Na kitu kingine kinafanyika ili kuharibu hizo mimea. And a heart will feel hurt too. Na sasa moyo wako utasikia umeumizwa. So any difficulty can cause a heart to feel Sad. Ugumu wote unaweza fanya moyo wako ukachukizwe. Now the first question is, is it necessary to take care of that negative feelings? Swali la kwanza je, ni la muhimu kushughulikia mawazo asi kwenye moyo wako? Yes. Is it necessary? Now, next thing I want to ask you, have you seen people to continue ne- let the negative feelings stay in the heart? Je, ushawaiona watu ambao wameacha mawazo asi maendeleo kuishi kwenye mioyo zao? Every day they say kila siku wanasema my husband's not nice my wife is not nice wangu, mke wangu si mwema life is difficult maisha ni magumu i want to die nataka nife i'm unhappy mimi sina furaha have you met people like that yes. ushawahi kutana na watu kama hao yes. they continue let the negative feelings stay wanaacha zile ma, ile ma, eh, ile mawazo asi kuishi ndani yao and the whole life is in pain na maisha yao yote yako kwenye machungu So what can we do? Tutafanya nini? The first thing is to take care of the negative thinking. La kwanza ni kushughulikia mawazo asi. When someone hurts us, mtu anapokuumiza, we could think. Ni lazima tufikirie. Life is difficult. Maisha ni magumu. People are bad. Watu ni wabaya. My life is miserable. Maisha yangu hayana mwelekeo. God is not helping me. Mungu hanisaidii. So my prayer doesn't have any help. 
maombi yangu basi haina msaada wowote now we might have thoughts like this tunaweza kuwa na mawazo kama so we need to change the thoughts ni lazima tubadilishe mawazo now but you say the situation is still there lakini unasema kwamba hali hiyo bado ipo how can we change it tutaibadilishaje i use one typical person ninatumia mfano wa mtu mmoja katika biblia joseph mtu ambaye anaitwa yusufu he was sold by his brothers yeye aliuzwa na ndugu zake Now when he was taken to Egypt, na alipopelekwa katika mji wa Misri, did he continue complain? Je, yeye aliendelea kulalamika? Now the Bible says that the Lord was with him. Maandiko yanasema kwamba Mungu alikuwa pamoja naye. And everything everything with him prosper with like, Joseph. Kila kitu pamoja naye kilinawiri. So it means that Joseph must be praying to God. Ina maanisha kwamba Yusufu lazima alikuwa mtu wa kumuomba Mungu. Now he could say this. Na angalisema haya. God is not helping me. Mungu hanisaidii. I'm still in Egypt. Mimi sasa niko Misri. I pray to God. Ninaomba Mungu. And the master like me. Na 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 the master like me. His master. Nataka niombe Mungu ili kwamba yule mkuu wa Misri anipende. But he was still in Egypt. Lakini yeye alikuwa bado wako kwenye wa Misri. God did not take him back home. Mungu hakumregesha kwake. And then later, na kisha baadaye, he you know he was he you know actually his mistress betrayed him. Na sasa unapata kwamba yule binti ali, yule mke wa yule mkubwa yule m, alikuja akamsaliti. His mistress said that he tried to you know I take advantage of her. Eh eh huyu huyu mama akasema kwamba Yusufu alijaribu ku alinitaka. It was unfair. Hakuwa haikuwa mzuri. And he was in jail. Na alikuwa kwenye gereza. Now when he was in jail did he continue did he complain? Na yeye alipokuwa kwenye gereza aliendelea kulalamika. He continued to have a good relationship with God. Aliendelea kuwa na uhusiano mzuri na Mungu. And the leader in the jail liked him. Na hata yule aliyekuwa kiongozi wa lile gereza alimpenda. So when he pray, kwa hivyo wakati anapoomba, God bless him. Mungu akambariki uh, and the leader trusted him. Na hata yule kiongozi wa wafungwa kamuwe But he was still in the jail. Lakini alikuwa bado yuko ndani ya gereza. He was not taking out of the jail. Ye hakuwa ameondolewa kwenye gereza. Did he complain? Je, ye alalamika? No. No. So The situation may not change. Eh eh hali inaweza kutobadilika. But he continue trust God. Lakini endelea kumwamini Mungu. God has a way to help me. Mungu wako na njia kunisaidia. God will lead me. Mungu ataniongoza. God will help me. Mungu atanisaidia. Now that is positive thinking. Hayo ndio kuwaza mawazo mema. So the first thing to remember in difficult situation. Cha kwanza kukumbuka katika hali ngumu. When we are unhappy, kama hauna furaha, the first thing is to have positive thinking. Ya kwanza ni lazima ukakuwe na mawazo mema. Now positive thinking are like this. Mawazo mema ni kama haya. Would you say after him? Haya urudie mambo haya nyuma. Yes. God loves me. Mungu ananipenda. Mungu ananipenda. God is helping me. Mungu ananisaidia. Mungu ananisaidia. Even my situation doesn't change. Hata kama hali haibadiliki. Hata kama hali haibadiliki. God still loves me. Mungu bado yuanipenda. Mungu bado yuanipenda. There is hope in the future. Niko na tumaini katika siku za uso. Things will Things will change. Mambo yatabadilika. Mambo yatabadilika. When it come to the right time. Itakapowadia wakati wake. So, so it's very important that we have this positive thinking. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu kwamba tukue na haya mawazo ambayo ni mema. Now some people might have negative thinking. Watu wengine wanaweza kuwa na mawazo And they say God is not helping me. Waseme kwamba Mungu hanisaidii. Situation is desperate. Hali imekuwa hali mbaya. Prayer is useless. Maombi hata haisaidii. Do you want to have this negative thinking? Je, ungelipenda kuwa na mawazo kama No. no so we want to put those down so lazima tuweke mawazo hayo chini okay now but putting those negative thoughts down doesn't mean we'll become joyful right away na sasa haimaanishi unapoachana na hayo mawazo utaanza kuwa na furaha wakati huo we have to accept this ni lazima tukubali haya it takes time for us to have positive emotions inachukua muda sisi kuwa na mawazo ambayo ni mema now how can you have positive emotions sasa utakuwa vipi na hisia ambazo ni nzuri first put down the negative thinking za ya kwanza weka chini mawazo hisia hisi, hisi, asi 
Declare God's grace all the time. Ukatangaze neema ya Mungu kila wakati. When we get up, we'll say, Tunapoamka unasema, Now say this with me. Aya urudie mambo haya nyuma. God is loving me. Mungu unanipenda. Mungu unanipenda. God is blessing me. Mungu unanibariki. Mungu unanibariki. God is helping me. Mungu unanisaidia. Mungu unanisaidia. When I follow God, ninapokufuata, ninapokufuata, my life will go higher and higher. Maisha yangu yataenda juu zaidi. I can see God's work. Naweza ona kazi ya Mungu. I can rejoice. Naweza furahia. Yesu. Yesu. Yesu Yesu Yesu. Yesu Yesu Yesu. 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 Yesu Yesu Yesu. Ha ha ha. So we keep declaring the grace of God. Tunaendelea kutangaza neema ya Mungu. We keep praising God. Tunaendelea kusifu Mungu. And we accept that it takes some time. Na tunakubali kwamba itachukua muda. Every day we keep praising God. Kila wakati tunaendelea kumsifu Mungu. Whenever we see any good things happen. Tunapoona chochote chema kikitendeka. We say God is helping me. Tunasema Mungu unanisaidia. God is blessing me. Mungu unanibariki. Even when nothing happens. Hata kama chochote hakitafanyika. When we feel the joy of the Lord Tunahapo hisi furaha ya Bwana. God is helping me. Tunasema Mungu anisaidia. God is blessing me. Mungu anisaidia. God is with me. Mungu ako nami. Now when we continue to do that, tunapoendelea kufanya hivyo. You find that you have more and more positive feelings. Utapata umejawa na hisia zile ambazo ni nyingi mzuri. Sema amen. amen. And I want to say this. Nataka kusema hili. Any time any negative feeling comes up, wakati wowote ambapo hisia asi inapotokelezea because there are hidden problems manaka kuna matatizo ambayo yamefichwa now this is a concept of subconscious mind haya ni mafun... haya ni mawazo ya akili ambayo zimekataa kufikiria vyema now do you know icebergs icebergs mnajua ile barafu ile mawe ya kutengeneza kutoka kwa barafu a large piece of ice in the water Unaweza pata kuna jiwe kubwa la barafu kwenye maji. Sometimes just the tip shows up. The tip of the iceberg shows up above the water. Oh, okay. Pole. Kuna miamba mingine ambayo ziko kwenye maji na kuna wakati ambao maji ikipungua ule mwamba unaanza kuonekana. But most of the iceberg is under the water. Lakini unapata sehemu yake nyingi iko chini ya maji. Now our, our mind of emotion and our subconscious mind is like that. Kwa hivyo akili zetu na mawazo yetu mabaya na akili zetu mbaya ziko sampuli hiyo. All the hurt feelings from the past. Ya kwamba moyo wako unaanza kuwaza mambo yaliyopita. Even our hurt feelings in childhood. Hata vile tulivyokuwa tukiteswa kwenye utoto wetu. If when you were a little child, wakati ulipokuwa mchanga, someone always spank you. Kila kuna mtu aliyekuwa akikuchapa makofi. And then you might have fear. Sasa unakuwa na uoga or anger ama asira or negative feelings. Ama unakuwa na hisia hasi. Now some people don't know how to handle that. Watu wengine hawajui jinsi ya kushughulikia jambo hilo. Those negative feelings stay in the heart. Unapata kwamba hisia asi zinabaki kwenye moyo wako. I use an example. Nitatumia mfano. If when you talk, unapoongea, people always say I disagree with you. Wakati unapotoa hoja fulani, utapata watu wanasema kwamba sikubaliani na hoja zako. I can tell you that we all have that experience. Na wacha nikwambie sisi sote tumepitia mambo kama hayo. People disagree with us a lot of times. Watu hawaamini na sisi kila wakati. And then another time, na wakati mwingine, I use this this represent a, another person. Eh natumia hii simu inasimama kwa ajili ya mtu. He just says something like um, well you can improve by doing this. Anakuambia jambo kama unaweza fanya vizuri ukitenda hili. He did not really disagree with us. Haja kubaliana na sisi. And then he just said this is how we can improve. How can we we can do the meetings better? Na anasema kwamba hapa hivi ndivyo tukifanya tutaendelea vizuri mikutano zetu zitakuwa sawa. How we can do the evangelistic meeting matter better? Jinsi tunavyofanya mkutano wetu wa adhara uwe mwema zaidi. Now the person is not against us. Si kwamba mtu ako kinyume na sisi. But in our heart. Lakini katika mioyo zetu. 
subconsciously we think of all the people who disagree with us. Tunaanza kufikiria kuhusu wale watu ambao hawakubaliana nangi na sisi. And we think that the person is against us. Na tunafikiria kwamba mtu huyo ako kinyume na sisi. We think that the person is our enemy. Tunafikiria kwamba mtu huyo ni adui wetu. Now, do you understand what I'm saying? Tunaelewa kile tunasema? Yes. Like for instance, your husband or wife says something to you, kwa mf- give, give us a suggestion. Kwa mfano, mke ama mume anasema kwamba hebu ukatoe hoja yako hapa tuone. He or she is trying to help. Yeye yeah, anajaribu kusaidia. But because of the past experiences, lakini kwa sababu ya ya mambo yaliyopita, we think that he or she is against us. Tunafikiria kwamba mtu huyu ako kinyume na sisi. And then we get angry. Na sasa tunakasirika. You are against me again. Haunipendi tena sasa. You don't agree with me. Utaki kusikiliza kukubaliana na mimi. Have you had experiences like that? Ushawahi pitia mambo kama hayo? Yes. That is because of the subconscious mind. Ni kwa sababu akili zetu mewacha zinawaza now, mambo mengine ya nyuma. If this is the iceberg, basi kama hili ndilo jiwe, a little part is above the water. Eh, yenye sehemu ndogo iko nje ya maji. Most of it is under the water. Lakini sehemu yake kubwa iko kwenye maji. Most of it is from the past experiences. Eh, ile sehemu kubwa ambayo iko ndani ya maji ni kwa mfano ni yale matukio yaliyopitia kitambo. We think that people don't like us. Tunafikiria kwamba watu hawatupendi. We think that we are not useful. Tunafikiria kwamba sisi sio watu wa msaada. We think that we'll fail in everything we do. Tunafikiria kwamba kwa kila chochote ambacho tunakifanya tunaweza hatuwezi fanikiwa so all these experiences in the past kwa hivyo mambo haya yote ni yale yaliyo nyuma yaliyopita affect us when people talk to us huwa inatuadhiri wakati watu wanapoongea na sisi now i use an illustration like this nitatumia mfano mwingine tena if someone says to you if someone says to you kama, kama mtu atakwambia he said oh this person when he preaches he preaches very well Anasema kama huyu mtu anapohubiri injili huwa anahubiri vizuri sana. Like when pastor preaches, he preaches very well. <laughs> kama mchungaji Jairo anapohubiri anahubiri vizuri sana. Now he did not say anything about you. Hajazungumza kitu chochote kukuhusu. But when we hear it, lakini tunapoisikiliza, we might think tunaweza kufikiria you saying he preaches very well. Eh, uh-huh, kweli anahubiri vizuri. But I don't preach very well. Lakini mimi sihubiri vizuri. You understand this? Tunailua Someone haya. did not say anything about us. Mtu haja zungumza chochote kukuhusu. He just says someone else preaches very well. Amesema tu mtu fulani yeye anahubiri vizuri. And then we might say he is saying I'm not preaching well. Na sasa wewe utaanza kusema si unaona vile anaongea, anaongea kwamba mimi siwezi nikahubiri vizuri. Then it's because our subconscious mind has a lot of criticism. Ni kwa sababu mawazo yetu iko na iko na chukizo nyingi we have a lot of hidden criticism inside us tuko na chukizo ambazo zimejificha kwenye nyoyo zetu a lot of hurt feelings Tume, tuko na hisia nyingi sana so when anything comes up kwa hivyo kitu chochote kinachotoka we always think the person is against us lazima tunaanza kufikiria yule mtu ambaye huwa anawaza kinyume kwetu or another situation ama hali nyingine a little hurt feeling in the body Unaanza kuwa na hisia, unahisi vibaya kwenye mwili wako. We are afraid. Tumeogopa because we have, might have some sickness before. Manake toweza kuwa tuko na magonjwa. Or we might have seen someone sick. Ama pengine tulimuona mtu akiwa mgonjwa. And we mgonjwa. say, "Oh, do I have cancer?" Na unasema, "Ah, labda niko na ka- saratani." Do I have a serious sickness? Je, niko na ma- magonjwa ambayo ni ngumu sana? We are die. Tunakufa. The fear comes up. Ule uoga unakuja sema amen. Amen. Uh, do you understand that this hidden feeling? Je, unaelewa sasa kuna machukizo uh, kuna hisia ambazo zimejificha. Now, I don't know if you have a game like this. Sijui kama kuna mchezo huu huko. There is a game with a board. Kuna kuanga na, na, na kitu kama meza. And there are many holes. Huo meza uko na mashimo mashimo. And you hold a hammer. Na unachukua nyundo. And then sometimes animal head come up. Animal heads come up from the hole. Aha, hii meza iko na mashimo, unachukua nyundo, wakati mwingine unaona vichwa za wanyama fulani zinakuja kwenye hayo mashimo. And you don't know when they come up. Na ujui zinakuja saa ngapi? When they come up, ikikuja, if you hit the head, ukigonga hicho kichwa, then you win one time. Umeshinda. And then somewhere it comes up again. Tena ingine inakuja, and you hit, ukigonga, you win a second time. Umeshinda mara ya pili. Have you seen a game like that? Mshaeona mchezo kama huo? No. No. Okay, it's but it's a game quite common in other place countries. Kuna hizo michezo ziko kwenye yale mataifa mengine. Deus ukuja. I'm telling you, nakwambia 
If any of this negative feeling come up in your life, mambo haya eh, eh, mawazo asi yanapokuja kwenye maisha yako. For instance when we get very sensitive easily. Tunaweza kuwa watu wa kuyahisi haraka. We get hurt easily. Tunaumizwa kwa wepesi. Or we you know always think people are criticizing us. Huwa tunahisi kwamba wakati wote watu wanatutuvumu. Any of this negative feeling come up. Mawazo yote asi kama yanapokuja. It's like the animal head come up. Ni kwa sababu ni kama kile kichwa cha mnyama anapotaka. You want to take care of that. Na wewe unatakana uangalia. For instance someone says he is preaching well. Kwa mfano mtu anasema unahubiri vizuri. And you feel sour inside. Na unahisi vizuri sana ndani ya moyo wako. Then you know that we have some jealousy. Unajua kwamba tuna wivu. Or we feel that we're not doing well. Tunafikiri kwamba hatufanyi vizuri. Then we have to take care of that. Lazima tuangalie mambo hayo. Or now this is something like your husband says. Hiki ni sawa na mume wako anaposema. Husband should not say that. Wanaume hawapaswi kusema. But if the husband says, lakini kama mwanaume atasema, look at that woman. Angalia ile mwanamke mzuri. The dress is beautiful. Kamba amevaa nguo nzuri. And then you say, na unajiangalia sasa mke wake. He likes that woman. Anasema, "Eh, anampenda ile mwanamke kunizii." Now, he might not mean that. Hawezi kuwa na maana. He just saying, "Wow, well, that dress is beautiful." Alikuwa anikizungumzia tu kwa usiri nguo. He he might say, "Anaweza akasema, I'll buy for you." Takununulia. But then when you first hear that, lakini mara ya kwanza utakaposikia hivi, you say, "Utaingiwa ndani ya mke wake." He likes that woman. Kwamba anampenda ile kunizidi mimi. Sema amen. Or he doesn't say anything. Au atasema kitu chochote. He just look at a woman. Yana anabaka na mwangalie mwanaume mpaka anajigonga kwenye mti. And then you say he likes her. Unasema hii kwa kweli ila anampenda kunizidi. I'm asking you. Nataka niwaulize sasa. Does it happen to us sometimes? Inafanyika kwetu wakati mwingine? So whenever we notice any kind of negative feeling come up. Wakati wote tunapokuwa tukihisi isiye isi ya asi zikija ndani yetu. We know that there is some hidden hurt feelings. Kwa kwamba kuna hisia ya zilizo jificha ndani yetu. Let me ask you another question. Hoja unuze tena swali lingine. Do you have bad dreams? Je, huwa mna wakati mwingine unapata ndoto mbaya? Do you have bad dreams? Yes. Bad dreams means that you have hidden fear. Ndoto mbaya zinamaanisha kwamba una hisia za uoga zilizojificha. Or we are unhappy about something. Au tunaweza kuwa tuna furaha kuhusu kitu fulani. When my parents had a divorce when I was young. Kati wazazi wake walipo 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 talakiana akiwa mdogo. And then my stepmother came. Mama yake wakamba alipokuja. And he yelled at us. Akawa anamfokea sana. I sat to help bad dreams alianza kuwa na ndoto mbaya i started to walk in my dreams alianza kutembea tu wakati wa usiku akiwa melala when i had that hurt feelings kwa sababu moyo wake when i had that fear zimeumizwa alikuwa na uoga i had that for years alikuwa alikuwa na hizo vitu kwa muda mrefu until later i was healed by the holy spirit mpaka baadaye alipoponywa na roho mtakatifu not one time siku moja but many times mara nyingi tu now how do you do it many times utafanyaje hivyo kwa nyakati nyingi Every time when I think about wakati wote alipokuwa akifikiria mambo ya zamani alipokuwa akifikiria kumuhusu huyu mtu Now look here look here hapa angalia hapa If this is someone that has hurt you kama huyu ndio mtu aliyekuumiza When you are washing dishes or when you are sweeping the floor or walking Napokuwa unasafisha vyombo au unafagia uwanja And you think of this person na ukao unafikiria kuhusu huyu mtu You might not like the person unaweza usimpende huyu mtu Immediately handle that haraka sana inatakana ushughulikie And say this person has been hurt by many people Na useme kwamba huyu mtu amejeruhiwa na watu wengi That's why he hurts me Ndio maana na mimi pia amenijeruhi That's why he yells at me. Ndio maana anapenda kunifokea. Actually this person has a miserable life. Kika huyu mtu ana maisha mabaya. So I want to bless this person. Ni nataka kubariki huyu mtu. What it what it did to me doesn't matter. Alichonifanyia akijalishi. I can forgive him. Naweza kumsamehe. I can bless him. Naweza kumbariki. And my life is precious. Na maisha yangu ni ya thamani. Haleluya. Amen. God loves me. Mungu ananipenda. God cares about me. Mungu ananijali. God is going to heal me. Mungu anaenda kuniponya. Mungu anaenda kuniponya. That is why it's important to declare this every day. Hayo mambo ni muhimu kuyasema kila siku. Haleluya. My, my life is precious. Kwamba maisha yangu ni ya muhimu. Sema maisha yangu ni ya muhimu. Maisha yangu ni ya muhimu. I can put down this burden. Ninaweza kuweka mizigo hizi chini. 
I can put down these hurt feelings. I can be healed by God. I can forgive. I can forgive him. I can bless 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 him. I can Gradually, you have less and less bad dreams. And gradually, you have more and more joy. So look here. This subconscious mind under the water. Every time you love God, every time you declare that God loves you, one small part of it is melted away. So every day a little part of it is melted away. Gradually, your heart is more and more healed. Gradually, you have more and more joy. Now that is the healing of the subconscious mind. Now when people have this hurt, feelings inside. Now look here, everyone look here. If the person walks like this, I'm unhappy. Life is difficult. I want to cry. I want to die. If you live like that, this whole heart is hurt. So that is what the Bible says. That A um, joyful heart does good, like medicine. But a broken spirit dries the bones. So if he has this broken spirit all the time, his bones are dried up. His whole person is in misery. He's living his life in a painful way. Do you want to live like that? No. no. So if a person lives like that, is it easy to drive out the demons? No. Have you noticed those people who have demons? They look sad. They look dry, right? A lot of it is because of the hurt feelings. Amen. And also these people need love. They need more love. More care. When they come to church, every time when you see them, you say, I'm happy to see you. You hold their hands or you hug them. You show your care. It will bring healing to them. But they, but they have to do themselves. So every day, you say, God loves me. And whenever we think of anything negative, whenever we think of negative experiences, we say God knows the hurt, my hurtful experiences. God wants to heal me. God will pay back to me. My life will go better and better. That way your whole person is healed gradually. Now, Amen. That is called inner healing. Okay, right now I'm going to do a session of inner healing. Would you stand up? Oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. 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 Asante Yes. Asante Yes. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yes, one and Penda. Yes, 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 y
Yesu, 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 Okay, everybody close your eyes. Kila mmoja fumba macho ya hallelujah. Think of Jesus loving us. Hebu fikiria upendo wa Yesu ajabu sasa. Jesus is standing in front of us. Yesu amesimama mbele yetu. Jesus is standing behind us. Yesu amesimama nyuma yetu. Jesus is laying his hand upon us. Yesu anaweka mkono wake juu yetu. Jesus is hugging us. Yesu anatukumbatia. Jesus loves us. Yesu anatupenda. Jesus want to heal us. Yesu anataka atuponye sasa. Jesus want to heal our bad dreams. Yesu anataka atuponye ndoto zetu mbaya. Now at this point, kwa wakati huu I would like you to think of one experience or one person that has hurt you. You think of this person. You think of how this person has hurt you. And then you cry to Jesus. Jesus, please help me. Help me out of this problem now. I need healing. Now, think of someone who really has hurt you. Fikiria kuhusu mtu yoyote ambaye aliyekukuumiza. Anaweza kuwa mtoto wako, mume wako, jirani yako au ndugu yako. You say Jesus I need you to heal. Sema Yesu nakuhitaji uniponye sasa. Yesu nakuhitaji uniponye sasa. Just say in your heart, don't say with your mouth. Asema tu ndani ya nafsi yako. Fikiria mtu ambaye alikujeruhi au tukio ambalo ulikujeruhi, ikaweka makovu ndani yako na kila unapowazia linakunyi maraha. Ni wakati sasa kumuomba Mungu mchana wa leo apate kuleta neema tu. I need Jesus to heal my soul. Nahitaji Yesu uponye nafsi yangu. I need Jesus to comfort me. Nahitaji Yesu ingie ndani yangu. Oh Jesus. Oh Yesu. I'm sad inside. Ndani ya moyo wangu kuna majonzi. I need you to heal me. Nahitaji uniponye sasa. I need you to help me. Naomba unisaidie. Come Lord Jesus. Njoo Bwana Yesu. Now you don't have to sing. Siimbe bali omba. Fikiria tukio baya tujua maisha yako na umombe mungu mchana wa leo. Ukapate kumsame. Yesu ananipenda. Yesu ananipenda. Yesu ananipenda. Yesu ananipenda. Yes, you are not in pain. Now think of the time when you were hurt. You might be a little child. Think of Jesus coming to you. Jesus is much taller than you. But he comes to you and touch you and hold you and put you on his lap and Jesus says to you I want to heal you I will help you I will bless you in the future you will help many people you are very precious Say to Jesus, I need you. I need you to heal me. I need you to set me free. I need your joy. I have much suffering in the world. I have much pain in my heart. I need you to heal me. Now at this point we can blow out the burdens, the hurt feelings. You can blow out like this. Yes, oh. It's like your pain comes out. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Set me free. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Heal my soul. Yes, oh. Comfort my soul. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. 
Hold me tight. Nishike kwa mkono wako. Yesu. Yesu. I need you. Nakuitaji. Yesu. Yesu. I want you. Nakuitaji. Nina, nina, nina Come Lord Jesus. Jo bwana Yesu. I need you. Nakuitaji. Oh. oh. Hallelujah. Now think of yourself. Walking up to yourself as a child. You, you as an adult go to yourself as a child. And you touch the little child of you. And you say you are very special. One day you help many people. You are very important. You are precious. Yes. You become a great person. You can be happy again. Oh. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, now talk to yourself. Talk to your little child. Yes. Oh. Touch the head. Touch the head of yourself when you were a child. Shika kichwa chako ukiwa bado mdogo sasa. Tafakari nyakati zako ukiwa bado mdogo. Ushike kichwa chako ukiwa bado na unafsi mdogo sasa. Ujiambie nafsi yako ukiwa bado mdogo kwa mba wewe ni watamani. God loves you. Mungu wa nakupenda. I love you too. Baba nami nakupenda pia. You will become a great person. Itakuwa mtu mkubwa. You are very special. Wewe ni mimi ni watamani. Oh, hallelujah Yesu. Hallelujah! And then you cry out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I can be happier. Every day I can be happier and happier. If I'm a little happy to now, I can be happier every day. I'll be happier and happier. I'll have no more bad dreams. And the person who has hurt me, I can think of his pain. I can forgive him. I can bless him. I can love him. When I forgive him and love him, I have victory. I have victory. I can forgive him. I can bless him. I have victory. I have victory. I have freedom. I have joy. I am victorious. I am happy. Hallelujah. Yesu, 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 Yesu. Rejoice! Let's rejoice. Fra, 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 fra. Hug the person next to you and say, You will be happy and happy. Oh, now, do you feel more peaceful? Yeah. Yes. Now sit down. Sasa tukai. Every day you can do that to yourself. Kila siku unaweza kufanya hivyo kwa nafsi yako. Talk to the little child when talk to yourself as a little child. Nenda ukaongea nafsi yako ukiwa bado mdogo. Jesus loves you. Kamba wewe nipo kwa mdogo. Yesu ulinipenda. Jesus cares about you. Yesu na ulinijali. You'll be happy and happy. Itakuwa na furaha na furaha siku zote. 
God will raise you up to be a great person. Mungu atakuinua kuwa mtu mkubwa. So talk to yourself. Waiongea na nafsi yako. I'm loved by God. Kwamba mimi napendwa na Mungu. That's why it's important to say I'm loved by God. Hilo jambo ni muhimu sana kwamba mimi napendwa. I can rejoice. Ninaweza kufurahi. Ha ha ha. Praise you Father. Asante Mungu. Now not only do you do it to your to yourself. Yes. Not only do you do it to yourself. Hitaji kufanya hivyo kwa ajili ya nafsi yako. You can lead this prayer in your congregation. Unaweza kuongoza maombi hata kwenye kusanyiko lako huko. You can lead the prayer with people who have demons. Unaweza kuongoza maombi hata na watu walio na mapepo. Let me tell you one way, another way of driving out demons. Moja ni kuambia njia kuondoa mapepo sasa. I have driven up demons from people like this. Yeye yeah, yeah, amekuwa akitoa watu mapepo kwa njia. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hallelujah. Ha ha. Rejoice in the Lord. God is good. And demons come out. Muona hivyo tu na mapepo yanatoka. Why? Kwani? Because when people are joyful, kwa sababu watu wanapokuwa na furaha, the presence of God is strong. Uwepo wa Mungu kawa dhahiri. The demons can come out fast. Yaani mapepo lazima yatimuke tu kwa jina la Yesu. Let me tell you. Moja nikwambie. Some people think the only way to drive out demons Watu wanafikiria njia pekee ya kutoa mapepo is to scream. Ni kupiga kelele kama mnavyofanya. Demons come out. Oh, toka kwa jina la Yesu. Toka kwa jina la Yesu. Vao. Not the only way. Sio njia pekee. Actually when I drive out demons. Yeye anapokuwa anaondoa mapepo. I don't usually shout. Wala huwa atapiga payuki. Because it's bad for the throat. Kwa sababu kupiga kelele jameni mako yanaumia na raha pili. And secondly. Eh. Hey. The fear person feel more pain. Hata huyo mtu ambao unamuombea pia anahisi maumivu zaidi. When I drive out demons, anapotoa ndani ya watu mapepo. I'll just say hallelujah. Anasema hivyo tu hallelujah. Na misheno vinalia huko vinaenda. Jesus loves me. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Punga mikono zako. Thank you Jesus. Sema asante Yesu. Demons go away. Na mapepo unaona yanalipuka na kwenu. Oh, demons go away. Na mapepo yanalipuka na. Now when it do it peaceful like ukifanya ukitoa like mapepo kwa njia tulivu namna hiyo. People feel more comfortable. Hatu pia watajihisi amani tu. They don't feel it's a painful process. Na wata feel kama mmewakandamiza kama. Although there can be some pain. Ingawaje ndani huko unaweza kuona. Because demons are struggling. Kwa sababu mapepo lazima yanakuwa yanatishi. But at least what I do. Lakini kila anachofanya. Makes him feel peaceful. Now some people think I have to scream before the demons come out. Kwa mbala zema zeme toka ili mapepo ya ondoke. I tell you, authority is in Jesus. Moja ni wambi. Mamu la kaya koko katika Kristo. Authority is not in screaming. Mamu la kaya koko katika mpya kirele. Now you try it today. Yalibu ni leo mumbi. If you have faith in God, kama una imani kwa wimu. See, you can drive out demons. Peacefully. I'm not saying you cannot cry out loud. But I say that you don't have to scream all the time. Lakini anachosema kwamba kuondoa mapepo nyakati zote sio lazima uombe kwa sauti ya juu. That you can drive out demons in a peaceful way. Naweza kuondoa mapepo kwa njia ya utulivu tu. And also sometimes I lead the people to laugh. Pia wakati mwingine unaweza kuongoza tu watu wakacheka ah na shetani akaenda sawa. And demons also go out. Na mashetani akaondoka. Because for the joy of the Lord. Kwa sababu furaha ya Bwana. Demons go away. Mapepo yanaondoka. Haleluya. And sometimes I leave people to enjoy the love of God. Oh, Jesus is loving us. Jesus is good. And then demons can come out too. Amen. And also we tell the people, go home and do this. Remember just now what I said? First, believe in God's love. Enjoy God's presence. Enjoy the good relationship with God. And love God. Na umpende mungu. And take care of different problems in life. Na uchukulie mba matatizo mbali mbali ndani ya maisha yako. Sins. Dambi. Negative thinking. Mawazo asi. Negative emotions. Fikira asi. Negative lifestyle. Maisha asi. Like some people have the habit of screaming at people. Kama mfumo wa maisha mbae wakua unapufokea na kutuka na watu. Or sinful habits. Au tabia ya dambi. So that's the second part. And the third part. Enjoy the presence of God. Love God all the time. 
come to the strong presence of God. And then with the strong presence of God, the demons will go, go out. You can also drive out demons. So tell these people to go home and do it. And continue to follow God and love God and serve God and the demons will go away. When they have a life that follow God totally, Every day they say, I'm loved by God. Now, why do I keep saying this? Because many people say this. God doesn't love me. I'm useless. I cannot do anything for God. My life is painful. Many people live like that. And the demons will hold on to the negative emotions. But if we continue to believe, God loves me. Now also when you serve, when you serve God, it's more joyful to say God is blessing me. Now say it with me. God likes my ministry. Even when I give a cup of cold water, God likes it. And God will reward me. When I love God, when I want to serve God, when I, when I want to glorify God, God is very happy. God likes my ministry. I can like myself. I can, I can enjoy God. I can enjoy ministry. I can enjoy my life. I'm happy I am I. Nina Fra Dani Yangu Mimi Kama Mimi. I'm happy I'm living this life now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now the Bible, the Bible says joyful heart is medicine. Is it good to have joyful heart? Yes. yes. So every day say, God is loving me. I can be happy. I can enjoy life. Ha 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 ha. Do you know laughter is a gift from God? Use laughter. Ha, 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 ha. And Africans like to dance. Hey. Dance is a ha, ha, ha. gift from God. Hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay. So this lifestyle will drive out all demons. Amen. Amen. Now, so you understand this complete lifestyle. Hallelujah. Do you have any question? Okay, now we conclude with the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. You want us to have a complete life. A life full of the presence of God. A life full of the love of God. A life full of peace and love. And joy. We can enjoy God. We can enjoy life. And we want to take care of different problems in life. We want to hate sin. We want to reject sin when it comes into our head. And we can change our negative thinking. We can have positive thinking. We can enjoy God every day. So we are positive emotions. So all the negative emotions will go away day by day. When we praise God every day, when we think of the 
God every day. Unapofikiria kuhusu baraka zako siku zetu. The negative feelings will go away. Isi ambaye ziondoke. The negative subconscious mind will go away. Isi ambaye na mawazo machafu ndani yetu yaondoke. We'll be more and more healthy. Ili tuwe na afya zaidi na zaidi. We can enjoy God. Ili tufurahie uwepo wako Mungu. In the presence of God. Katika uwepo wako Mungu. Demons will go away. Mapepo yanaondoka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you Lord. Bwana tunakutukuza. We want to live a joyful life. Nataka tuishi maisha ya furaha. We want to enjoy life. Nataka tufurahie maisha. Thank you Lord. Asante Mungu. We love you. Tunakupenda. We enjoy you. Tunafurahi maisha yako. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba sema amen. Amen. So, Jonathan, this is a lifestyle. Umeona kwamba ni mfumo wa maisha? Yes. A lifestyle to live in God. Maisha jinsi gani unaweza kuishi katika Mungu? In a relaxed way. Ukiwa katika hali ya utulivu. Too many people under pressure. Watu wengi wako chini ya mkandamizo za fikira. So we can enjoy life. Ili tupate kufurahia ni dawa. And then we want to bless people. Na ili na sisi tupate kubariki wengine. And God is happy with you. Mungu anafurahia nasi. And he bless your life. Na atabariki maisha yako. Isn't that easy? Yes. Actually, it's easy. It's yes. easy. Yes. I've told you the secrets how, how to have an easy Christian life. So, do it every day. We have to consciously do it every day. Because negative thinking and feeling will come automatically. Sin will come automatically. We have to take care of it right away. Okay? Remember this. It has to be conscious effort. Pay attention when you feel unhappy. Immediately take care of it. Pay attention when you are about to sin. Take care of the sinful thought. Hallelujah! And consciously enjoy God. Look at the leaves, so beautiful. The leaves are very beautiful. You say, I see it all the time. But you look at it. There is art in the design. And the green color is lively. Everything created by God is beautiful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.